Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Deepika. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the One Nation, One Ration Card Scheme announced by the Union Finance Minister of India, Mrs. Nirmala Sitaraman today. But before getting to know about the scheme, let me give a gist about the ration card system in India for those people who don't know about it. A ration card is a document that is used for purchasing subsidized essential day-to-day -day commodities like the rices, pulses, dal, kerosene, etc. for those people who fall under different categories of income levels. These uh, ration cards are being distributed by the state governments individually controlled by the central government. These ration cards are in different colors for different groups of people like the above poverty line people, below poverty line people, antyodaya families, high income group of people in different states. So the income of these different kinds of people, the ratio of the income is fixed uh, based on the state government. So for example, if we take the antyodaya families, a uh, kind of a green color ration card is given to them uh, who have very very unstable income per month so these kind of people would be given for example 35 kgs of rice for three rupees so this is for antyodhya kind of families green color card is given but this color of card is dependent on the states and if we take, for example, uh, below poverty line people, a kind of yellow color card is given. So this also is completely dependent on the states. So these kind of people will be given uh, different uh, commodities like rice, pulses and dal at a higher price range. And for example, if we stay, take the above poverty line people, uh, kerosene or subsidized LPG gases for cooking will be given at subsidized prices. So this is what the ration card system in India is used for. Having said about the ration card system which is present in India right now, the new scheme on One Nation One Ration Card scheme says that all the migrants who are traveling between the states in the country, for example, a person can travel from Maharashtra to Telangana or Tamil Nadu from North India to South India because his lifestyle is not stable, because his uh, uh, living is not stable. He keeps migrating for construction or any other job purpose and he has only one ration card of one state. So those kind of migrants can make the best use of the system by associating their ration cards with the Aadhaar card. So if the ration cards are linked to the Aadhaar card, the migrants who are traveling between the states in the country can make use of the subsidized foods and other commodities provided by the government across the entire states in the country. So this is not only going to be beneficial for the migrants, by March 2021, that is by next year, March, the whole of the country 100 percentage coverage is going to happen and it's going to be beneficial for each and everyone in the country who is owning an uh, ration card thanks for watching this video with this note let me end today's video please do subscribe like and share thank you bye bye